Welcome to Blaz. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to Blat. Uh, we are right now in Ljubljana, you know, the capital of Slovenia. And um, right now we are on our way to the train station because we are going to try to get there by train. From there we will walk. Exactly. And show you the, the, the scenic route down to the lake. What we would like to do is to go on a canoe or like on a boat yeah. to the uh, island in the middle of the lake. And we also would like to, yeah, just, you know, enjoy our time there. Where well, Ridge wants to complain about something. Well, it's, a, it's time that Ridge has a rant. Um, I don't know if this is true for all of Slovenia, so please don't judge me. But um, is it true that here you have to wait a long time for hot water to come? And if so, does the hot water finish very quickly so that more than one person can't have a shower, like, you know, in, in good conditions making a long story short today we couldn't have a shower so we had to literally use the teapot to heat up our water to wash our you know our things <laughs> our bits and pieces exactly so so please comment if this is normal in slovenia or maybe this is just in the apartment where we're renting we really cannot wait to get to bled We've seen so many videos about this place that we are so desperate to see it with our own eyes. There is something that I would like to highlight and it's that the train station here in um, Ljubljana is a lot, how can I say, it's a lot newer, it's a lot more well maintained than in Zagreb. So, uh, that, that is really sad because um, I wish that in Zagreb it had been ideas, even so it was still beautiful. I think that the, the outside, from outside, the one in Zagreb is a lot better, but um, obviously inside here is um, really nice, as you can see. So they told us that it's a lot better to go there by bus, because if we go by train we would have to wait until 12 Yeah. So obviously we don't want to be wasting time and uh, we want to get there as soon as possible. We had to buy two return tickets at the bus station. Everything came to 25 euros. Now it's time to have breakfast. I have to say that I feel calm. We just went to a cafe to have breakfast. And can you believe they had on the menu a burger that was like called veggie burger. Veggie burger. And then we thought, okay, let's go for that. And then uh, I said, can you please just like don't put like the mayonnaise and um, also don't like, add cheese because I thought of course it's going to bring like the burger, that's why it's a burger. And can you believe that they just literally gave us bread with lettuce and two slices of um, tomato. So obviously that was the biggest con ever, like of today. That is horrible. But anyway, our bus is here, so we need to we need to go to Bled. As soon as you leave Ljubljana, you realize how green this country is. Did you know that 60% of the territory of this country is covered by trees? Sincerely, this is one of the most cinematic, amazing and fantastic autumns I've ever seen in my life. I could never be able to forget this. On the way to Bled, we passed by this lovely town called Kran, which is the third largest city in Slovenia. So guys, here we are finally in um, Bled. And um, 
let's hope that we won't bleed. Yes, let's hope we don't bleed as well. Let's... Now, okay, so the ride took, how long did it take? It's become About here. an hour and a half, more or less. Yeah, now the scenery was just like spectacular, beautiful. So right now we are walking down the slope because we need to get to the lake. And, and um, see, um, see the scenery. Exactly. So we are approaching the lake, which is a glacial lake by the way, here in Slovenia. And um, I have to say that I am speechless. Like seriously, this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And when I say like in my whole entire life, I'm not even exaggerating like in my whole entire life. Like I really mean it. This this is surreal. This doesn't seem real at all. First impression, come on. Well, I'm shocked. I mean it's hard to shock me because, I mean... We've seen I, a lot. We've travelled a lot. I mean, we've exactly. seen so many different countries. But my first impression here, being in Bled, literally, it was just a mouth-opening experience where your mouth just, like, dropped. Exactly. But, you know, something, and... something really important that we would like to highlight is the fact that it is quiet. Yeah. Do you know, like, when you live, like, in cities, even, like, us... I would say like medium size as Ljubljana and Zagreb even though like you still get noise pollution and um, you really need to go to these places to sort of you know like reconnect with you inside Nature. exactly and now uh, Bled oh my goodness this is really beautiful by the way this town is located at the foothills of uh, the Julian Alps and um, yeah this is everything I have to say I know that we normally like overuse the the sentence we were not expecting this we are not exaggerating we were not expecting all this beauty i mean we knew that it was green and all stuff but this green and this beautiful i mean this is like something surreal we are extremely happy that we came here so now it's snack time and what could be better than apple strudel by by lake bled exactly Due to the fact that the lake is a glacial lake, the water is transparent. As you can see, you can see the bottom. Victor, look. Look. So right now we're going to try and hop onto one of those little boats and Over see there. if we can get to the island exactly uh we don't we don't have any idea how much it's going to cost or if they take cards probably not exactly so that's something really annoying because in this country once again like in croatia everything they don't cash. take cards as much as in other european countries but doesn't really matter so guys we've got wonderful news we are going to do something even better we are going to rent our own boat look at it we decided to rent a canoe for 25 euros an hour let's see if we can actually know how to do it i have never rowed a canoe before oh my goodness thank you so we are going to row our own boat Wait, wait, wait. I, I don't know how to do this. Let me see. I don't know. Guys, I'm so sorry. It's just that I, I really thought this was a good idea, but um, I haven't actually rode in my life. I thought it would be easier than I thought, and um, I'm kind of like freaking out. But I'm so glad that Victor has saved the day and he's uh, managing to row well, so far. Well, so, so, so far. Tall. So far, so good, Captain. Yeah. Guys, I have to say that this is definitely one of the most, I wouldn't even say beautiful, I wouldn't even go beyond that. I mean, this is just like surreal. And um, you definitely need to come here, you know, like, don't give too much like protagonism to more famous countries like Austria and Switzerland. I know that they are beautiful and stuff, but come on, we need to give it a, a go to countries like 
Slovenia because look at it. You can get surprised. You definitely need to become more adventurous in terms of like traveling because then you can find like hidden gems like this. So because for me, Slovenia is a real gem. We didn't know anything about it. And look at this, we're so surprised. So for me, Slovenia, out of a 10, I would give it a 11. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it to the island because we just ran out of time. But even though I believe that we still had a wonderful time here and everything was worth it. Now we need to go and get lunch. Let's see if we can find something really tasty here. Maybe, maybe fish. Yeah, from the lake. Fish and chips. So we've ordered trout, 500 grams, so it should be about this big. Uh, So, we already had lunch and um, we need to continue with our tour. Now we want to walk just like along the river, sorry, <laughs> along the lake. And um, do you like your lunch? The trout was really nice. It, had, it was served with like this garlic and um, olive oil, olive oil like sauce. It was really yeah, delicious. it was pretty tasty. I thought uh, I was not going to get, you know, like filled up, but I did. Well, it was half a kilogram. Exactly. It was a big fish. It was really tasty. And we we believe that it was caught from this very lake. Yes, because we've seen them here with our own eyes. So Richley is thinking that he would like to have one of those poor ducks over there. Mm. How maybe, dare you? Maybe, maybe for dinner tonight. How dare you? Roast lake duck. Slovenian style. From a whisper, collar shirt down by my feet, stood on crowded bathroom rug, voices filled the rooms upstairs. Our fort was warm before we drove. Breakfast fresh on the stove. She walked out with the floral blouse. Back then, everyone was near. So we've come to this lovely cafe just in front of the lake and we are going to have two cappuccinos. In my case I might go for a Americano as I'm having a few outbreaks now in my face. Here we are. Hi. So guys, sadly we are coming to the end of this vlog. Guys, I really do recommend you come into Bled. However, you need to come for more than one day because there are so many things you can do here, like rowing, paddle, boarding, swimming, going to the, um, the castle. And in, in just one day, it's not enough. Exactly. And if you really like, like trekking and, um, you know, just nature, I believe that this is your place because there is plenty of like places where you can go and just have a nice walk. And the only thing that you would have surrounding you is just nature. And also those who are going by bus, you have to get off at Bled 3, okay? It's the third stop in Bled, okay? Because yes. if you go to the first stop, you'll be very far. So remember, Bled 3. Exactly. So thank you very much for watching this vlog. And once again, don't forget to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye. Bye.